What is going on guys, Rave Designs here, and today is going to be a tutorial on basically something really cool, cool effect to actually give your text layouts and many other things a little bit more of a professional and fun look to your text. Um, of course, before I start, I really wanted to say that, you know, I've been looking at my YouTube and a lot of other YouTubers lately, and there really hasn't been that guy anymore that really uploads a lot of content of uh, Photoshop, how-tos, and I used to be that guy, so I want to re-instate myself as somebody that really does care, and I'm going to, you know, try my best to get as active as I possibly can. Of course, I am in design school 24-7, um, <laughs> constantly doing stuff for school. So I will be, um, you know, there will be days where I can't, but um, I'm going to do my best. I'm sorry for the two-week delay, of course. There was some bad uh, stuff that went on. But anyways, um, we're going to jump right into the tutorial. Um, if you guys have followed me on Twitter or if you guys check my website ever, um, which is actually be cool, I, I, I completely just, you know, came up with that. Yeah, go check out my website. I just, you know, bought a domain and uh, it's there. I'm going to have a forum slot on it to where you guys can you know talk about designs in the future so it'll be pretty cool um anyways I, you know if you watch my portfolio keep up with a lot of my stuff you guys will notice that i have been doing a lot of uh, stuff with a lot of really crisp pointy outlines and in photoshop you really can't get that effect unless you do it the way that i do um which i'm going to show you how to do today so basically it's going to be multiple outlines and crisp crisp outlines so of course, if you guys have seen this one on Twitter, uh, this is an, a banner I did for OptiCax. Of course, he didn't use it. I wasn't expecting it. It was just something cool that I did. Um, but if you guys can see, you know, I had a stroke on the outside, which really isn't a stroke, and then another gray and another green. And it just gives this whole effect to the, the text just more vibrant, more professional looking. And of course, I did this uh, illustration uh, a few days ago. Whoops. Um, and I did this a uh, few, uh, I don't even know, a few months ago. Um, <laughs> anyway, sorry about that guy. But um, had I got a call from my buddy, uh, Reflex. But um, anyways, jumping back in. Um, most people don't really, uh, you know, they don't really think this, um, you know, when, when they use a text on a logo or the, they're using text on a, uh, a banner, they just tend to use this, like, what, like this, my 40k pack, just very simple stuff, and they like to use the background to do stuff, which they usually use stock images, which I will say that I have used them, so I'm going to be a hypocrite here, but I will say, don't, if you see a graphic designer out there, they only use the stock images in their banners, that's not a... Um, like that's not a design. You're just basically stealing someone else's wallpaper that's already made and putting it in there. Um, I, it's not really stealing. I mean, of course, if you manipulate it, it's different. There's obviously a different, you know, there's different ways to explain. So don't like take me as like, oh, it's stealing. Uh, I'm just saying is like, don't, there's a lot of different ways you can get away with it. But, you know, if you just straight up take a, pa a picture, throw it in the background and then put text over it, that's, I mean, there's really nothing done. But um, anyways, I'm going to just show you guys how to do this in Photoshop, not in Illustrator, in Photoshop, because it's very simple in Illustrator. It'll do it for you. Like, this was all done. Uh, everything in here was done in Illustrator, and then I brought it into Photoshop to do this. And the reason is is because um, it, sometimes in Photoshop you just get a better line. Just, you know, it's, it's a photo editing program, of course. It's going to be sometimes a little bit better than... The next, but we're just going to start out with text here. Um, you can do this with anything, logos, uh, period. It's just a very simple effect. Whoops, zoomed out a little too far. So we're just going to start out with a document. Of course, if you guys are using uh, a text, most of the time it's going to be for a banner or something. But, you know, I always start another document if I do this because, um, you know, I want to make the text big. Just in case I want to save it as a different file or something. So, of course, um, the biggest part of, of this um, poll thing is is choosing your font um, choose carefully uh, I wouldn't do especially in Photoshop I wouldn't do cursive fonts with this um, you can you can get away with it I mean I wouldn't but you know if you want to do it go for it um, I, I would stick to something blocky um, 
uh, here's a font, where is it, that I, I, I tend to use a lot because I just, I like the way it looks, but um, I think it's called Wide Awake. Where is it? Uh, here it is. Okay. And we're just going to make this pretty big uh, 2 5 inch fork. And um, we're not going to do a tutorial. Okay. So we have our text. Um, what I usually do is, is for instance, um, oh, I like to, uh, it, you know, try to show you guys some exaggerations of what actually happens. Um, here, let me see if I can. This is what I just did for Revex, of course, similar to the hex banner, but I made his own logo and everything. Um, I want to just crucialize. If you're going to start with a white, if you want your main text to be white. My recommendation is making your outline a dark color and then counteracting with the biggest, like the fart, like your, how, how should I say this? Um, your thick, 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 thick stroke. You're going to want to keep that as a darker color, something that makes the white vibrant, like, you know, kind of really stand out in that contrast. And then the actual outs, like the furthest outline, which will probably be uh, some sort of color, or in some cases, keep it white. Um, and also, once again, I'm going to say this over and over, over again, never use a standard FFFFF number white. Use an off-white. It's a much better look to everything. It's very original, very, not original, but it just looks cleaner and that type of stuff. So after, you know, you don't have to, unless you're editing this, you don't have to rasterize your text because, I mean, you don't. Um, but what we're going to do is you're going to make a new layer and pull it below your tutorial, and you're going to want to hover your mouse over the thumbnail of the text and just hit Command and click that. And it's just what that does is it selects the whole uh, tutorial thing. And uh, we're going to go into Select, Modify, Expand. Now, me, I like to use a really thick uh, starting outline, so usually Modify, Expand. Uh, very similar to what I've done in my previous videos with some stuff. Um, of course, and it gives you an expansion. Now, here's why a lot of people prefer um, Illustrator, because Illustrator doesn't do this. It just automatically strokes with a point. You can stroke with a curve, or it can stroke with a uh, just a flat surface, I think is what the other one is. And that's where a lot of people do recommend. Now me, excuse me, um, I prefer to do it this way in Photoshop just because everything can be editable. And you can edit it to, you know, look goofy if you want. So what we're going to do here is just click back on our marquee tool if you want, or you can just go to edit to fill, and then or and you're just going to want to right click fill, and with a color. So in this, I'm going to do a dark gray, and that's going to pop up, and that's going to look really cool. Um, now that is one way that you can whoop, easily do it. Now after that, what you do is is you're going to want to go to about zoom really far in. Go into your color palette, make sure you select that color, and what you're going to do here is you're basically going to make your edges pointed, because pixels are not 100% like precise, um, it's not a vectorized type thing, so what I would, you know, so it, it'll curve off some things, oops, that's what I did, but yeah, you're going to want to, of course, just do the... Uh, do the honors of this simple, simple, simple thing. Um, sorry if I stopped talking, but this is, you know, you got to be very precise. I mean, there, there will be times in this where you will get very frustrated with yourself because you can't find the perfect line. Uh, it, it's a pain in the ass sometimes, excuse me, but um, that's why some people prefer Illustrator to do it, and um, it's completely fine, but personally me, I'm more of a uh, Photoshop-oriented guy, so I like to learn how to do things in Illustrator, of course, but at the end of the day, if it doesn't work in Photoshop, like if I can't do it in Photoshop, there's really no point in me uh, using it. But yeah, this is, I mean, it's very simple, basically, what you're watching me do. I'm just making this all uh, pointed out. It's a little too far. It's a lot of undoing, a lot of trial and error. 
in this too. So don't be afraid if you're like horrible at this at first. You, it, you will pick it up and you'll like honestly the fastest way possible. You will you'll get this very fast. Um, and we're actually I'm gonna finish this whole thing off. Okay, and that looks good. And what, what's going to happen is, is of course, you have your outline, just like in my past tutorial on that one layer style I did for uh, 2D. Very simple, very easy. Now, here's where it comes to the creative parts. Um, you're going to select your outside selection, make another um, uh, layer below that one. You're going to go to Select, Modify, Expand. Um, now, I'd go with anywhere, if it's a huge document like this, I'd go with around 10, probably, and, you know, fill it with a cool color. Now, when I say fill it with a cool color, don't go crazy. Um, you know, when you do a purple and you're doing a really, really saturated purple, look at how horrible that looks. I mean, it, it might look good to you guys on the screen, but when it comes into editing, I don't trust it. Um, do something like it's like a, you know, more of a pasty type color. Um, or like a CMYK color. Uh, so people who know that you'll know what I'm talking about a little bit more on the uh, middle spectrum, not so saturated. Um, so let's go with like, yeah, we can go with like a pink. Let's have fun today. And yeah, you're going to just go with that pink and you're going to do legitimately the exact same thing. And you're going to um, just outline this again. Very simple, very effective, and it, honestly, if you want to step up your game when it comes to professionalism, this is the way to do it. I mean, you know, the layer style tutorial I gave, I know I saw a ton of people using it, and I was so happy, I was so ecstatic to see that it made such an impact on people, so, um, yeah, if you guys are, are liking that, you know, this is what, this is legitimately, um, if you guys are in design school now and you're, or if you're in a high school class where you just like to, uh, you know, like a design class in high school and you want to impress your, um, you know, your professors or teachers or whatever, this is a layer style that I think will impress them. It's something that will be like, oh, wow, pretty cool. And uh, it's also... Uh, I've noticed, and I've actually used this on a few projects of mine in class, is it's very effective in the, um, just in the sense of getting the point across. Like, you know, most of the time, like I've said in many of my tutorials, um, you know, text is a magnet for the eye. And that's true, but there's ways that a lot of people in this community, not community scene, you know, whatever you want to call it, like to hide their text. They don't like to make it, you know, stand out. And this really can, you can hide it and make it stand out at the same time. So um, it's, it's not too flashy, but it's not, you know, overdone. And I, uh, that's what I really like about it. So here we go, and boom, we are done. All right. Here is the cool looking, uh, Outline. Um, for some people, they're like, oh, well, it's basic. What you can do is create a layer right here above the gray. Take this, go to Select, Modify, and go to about, uh, we'll do about five pixels. And we can, here you can, I mean, I, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can get away with just doing this. Because that's really what a stroke would do. And this gives it even cooler. Uh, but you can go in and actually, you know, do the same thing that I did here. But... It, it's up to you. I mean, from a far distance, you're really not going to notice. Um, it's another thing you can fudge. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, we're going to go into basically you can with the text. I mean, with this part, I mean, you can really do anything you want. Like some people like to just do this. Like um, take just a uh, a white, just kind of. Like this is pure white. I don't, I, you know, not off white, pure white. Oh, uh, fill path, and just go to pure white right here. Give it a gloss feel. 
maybe like, and yeah, it just kind of gives it a cool gloss feel. And um, you have like a cool looking text here. And it's awesome. So uh, I can't wait for you guys to do it. Of course, I'm going to see you guys all over Twitter, all over YouTube. Can't wait to see you guys try this. Um, of course, for the next tutorial, let's go for 200 likes. Um, grab that 200 likes. I'm sorry if you guys are hearing my dog sniffing around, but he's doing something. But um, anyways, thank you guys so much for, for at this time I made this tutorial. I think it's like 42,000 point, like 42.7 K. So thank you very much for that. And um, please leave some comments and some tutorials that you guys want to see. But uh, anyways, I'm rated, of course, and uh, enjoy your stuff, guys. And listen, I want to come up with some sort of slogan at the end of my videos. So if I randomly say something, you guys got to tell me if it's if it's if you're feeling it or if you're not feeling it. So you know, let me know. Anyways, guys, enjoy and. Uh,